the Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. Lord. Chapter 5, verses 43 to 48. You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father, for he makes his sun rise on the bad and on the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, while Jesus spoke of the urgency and necessity of getting reconciled with others when one is offended, Simon Peter came up with a question. Master, when my brother offends me, how many times shall I forgive him? Seven times. Surely, Simon Peter thought that was a magnanimous offer. Someone offending me, I forgive him again and again up to seven times. In fact, this question of Simon Peter had a historical background in the Jewish spiritual tradition. Coming to forgiveness, the Jewish tradition had a history, a progressive history. In the beginning, they taught that unlimited revenge could be taken when extreme offense is made. The offender's household shall be destroyed. But slowly, that concept of unlimited revenge was changed. Was changed to moderate revenge. When someone offends, the revenge and punishment should be in proportion to the offense. So Moses said, when someone hurts you on one eye, you are allowed to hurt, but only on one eye, because revenge must be proportionate to the offense. Moderate revenge. Even that doctrine was changed later. And the Jewish teachers taught that they should forgive. But how many times? Three times. Moderate forgiveness. It is in this context that Simon Peter asked, Shall I forgive seven times? A magnanimous offer, Simon Peter thought. But Jesus was very clear in his teaching. Not seven times, I tell you. Seventy times, seven. Unlimited forgiveness. And this concept of unlimited forgiveness will be understood only when 
we look at the heart of god how does god forgive how does god love that's how we must be loving others god forgives always there's no difference between the just and the unjust there's no difference between the good and the bad god loves everyone equally and does good to everyone in an equal way as jesus said god the father makes the sun rise and set on the just and the unjust alike god the father makes the rain fall on the good and the bad alike you know we make a distinction we cut humanity into two as politicians do for politicians there is the proposition and opposition those who belong to my party and those who support me and those who do not belong to my party the opposition and everything the opposition does is wrong because they do not belong to us they are different party and jesus said such thought shall never exist among his followers there shall be no enemies whoever does something wrong against you you shall not take revenge but forgive from the depth of your heart and do good to him and pray for him and be there for him at every moment that's how god behaves our hearts must be enlarged in proportion to the heart of god always loving everyone whether friend or foe someone doing good to me someone doing bad to me whatever others do to me i must be loving love shall be the only attitude of the followers of jesus and that's what god's attitude is did not saint john say the nature of god is love and that nature is what we must be adopting in our behavior loving everyone always irrespective of what others do to us be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect so luke gives another version to this statement so luke says be merciful as your heavenly father is merciful the perfection of god is mercy mercy is doing good to everyone beyond all norms of justice mercy transcends all thoughts of justice doing good always to others and that's how we must be behaving to others our attitude must be always the attitude of love and compassion and mercy to everyone irrespective of what they do to me because i must be perfect as my heavenly father is perfect amen